What is going on everybody? Today we're going to be talking about compressor oil pressures. How do you get the net oil pressure and what it should be. The first one, all you need is an oil pump pressure. And the second thing you'll need is a suction pressure. Together, that's your equation, how to get it. So oil pressure, subtract suction, that's your net oil pressure. So let's go through it and figure it out. So on your oil pump, you got two ports. One's going to go to the oil fill and the other one's going to be for your gauge. Here I'm already hooked up, so let's see what my oil pressure is. As you can see, it is around 60 pounds of oil. Uh, yeah, 60 pounds. And now we go around, look for our suction pressure. This is a low temp rack, so it's going to be a little bit low. 12 pounds suction. Yep. So now you do the math of it. 60 subtract 12. Uh, you can carry the one over. 60 minus 12. 48. I think it's 40, 48. Yep, got it. Come on now. I graduated high school. Celebrate. So, yep. So, hopefully, no nail pressure. For me, 40 to 55 is good. 35 to 40 is kind of suspect. And now, I'm not going to forget my buddy here, Carlisle. So for this one, same thing. You check your oil pressure, see what it's at. A little crazy right here, 55 pounds. I want to go with 55. Could be 60. I want to go with 55. I want to go with the lowest. Now we checked our suction. I think it's 28. Yep, suction 28. So same the question. 28 subtract from 55. And that's gonna be we carry to 27. So for Carlisle, I'm looking between 16 and 22. Those are the numbers I've gone by, and I've done pretty good. So, yep, that's how you check your oil pressure for a compressor. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, right there in the arrow. Pretty easy for you. Hit that little button. Thank you so much for watching.